Freddy Krueger, Jason, and Mike Myers have invaded Boulder City. They have all, they're all a part of Tom Devlin's Monster Museum, making it the perfect place to visit this Halloween season. And JC is live with more details. JC, are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm rocking my nerves already. My hands are already shaking. My nerves are kicking in right here. I'm here with Tom Devlin. It's his monster museum. Tom, why open a monster museum? We're here to preserve the art and history of practical effects. When it comes to special makeup effects and practical creatures outside the digital world, we want to show the history. So we start with the silent films and work our way all the way up to modern day. Who is this guy we're looking at right here? Nosferatu, Graf Orlock himself, Maxwell Schreck. And uh, this is everything within the museum. I've custom sculpted. It's all one of a kind works of art. You won't find it anywhere else. Let's walk through because you have added so, I've been here two years ago, you added so much more, so much is new. Who is this guy we're looking at right That's here? That's Lon Chaney Sr. as the Phantom of the Opera, one of his most uh, classic known roles. He was the world's first makeup artist when it comes to American film. Okay. Also Quasimodo from the... Uh, Quasimodo is right here. Okay, yeah, we like Quasimodo. Quasimodo is good. Dame. And we go yeah. walking through. You got a coffin here or some other yeah. stuff. Oh, that's something. This, oh, it's alive. It's alive. So in the months of October, some, some of our monsters do come to life. Yeah, like, uh, it's alive. Is it? Sorry, it is alive, it's a real human being. All right, let's go down here, about 25 as, seconds. As we go uh, through October, Frankenstein. In, the, in the evenings, we have uh, Nightmare at the Monster Museum. So. All right, uh, we got Wolfman over here. Yeah, and then, Wolfman. Uh, you have props from movies too, like this one here. This is, is that Carrie from the, the no, movies? No, this is The Exorcist. Exorcist Girl, sure. It's, it's, it's very nice, very scary, The Exorcist Girl. Oh, uh, so. Oh, let's go. <laughs> And you actually have an exorcist girl uh, <laughs> crawling out from underneath the exorcist girl as, as well. All right, uh, we got ready, ready to wrap it up here, Tom Hine. Nice to meet you down there. My heart's pounding here. Uh, last one behind you. What do we got here? One of the most classic uh, rubber monsters ever, Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes. The guy from this, the guy from Alien, right? Yeah, that's our uh, Geiger alien. Oh, she's still down here scaring me, you guys. All right. <laughs> I gotta wrap it up and send you guys back in to see you. I, I actually, I blacked oh out after that. You guys scared okay. me. We're gonna have coming up in the four yeah, o'clock no. hour. We'll send it back to you guys. In the, I'm impressed, JC. I would have, I studio. wouldn't have made it. I wouldn't have made it when I saw her pop out, that, out of the bed. That one would have freaked me. <laughs> out. All right, JC.